Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 8 September 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly correspondent Rebecca Campbell writes that a new Kenya Airways unit is pushing for the use of drones and other emerging aviation technologies. With new technologies promising to transform commercial aviation, Kenyan national flag carrier Kenya Airways is determined to be an active participant in this revolution and so make the East African country a regional and then continental centre for these technologies. The engineering news features focus on oil refineries and fuel storage, where fuel contaminants result in equipment damage. Solar energy, where an equipment group installs a 1.1 megawatt solar system at a manufacturing facility. And the South African Capital Equipment Export Council, where unresolved problems plague manufacturing. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Zimbabwe, where exploration resumes at a flagship gold mine. And minerals and metals processing, smelting and refining, where a learnership program contributes to skills upliftment. This week's business leader is Ola Oyetayo, CEO of Verto. And as this week's cartoon shows, the Kuburg Life Extension project is running years late and with ongoing contractor claims, its final budget remains uncertain. The regulator is said to have many questions and it's possible that despite all the money and effort, Kuburg could be shut for a protracted period from the middle of next year. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.